in the hallway. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Stock Car Pro Series here on Speed. We're at Gateway this week for a quick 60 lapper here from this one mile track. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get things underway. I don't know why we aren't rolling yet, but ah, there we go. So, yeah, Jason Jarrett in the 23 qualified on pole. 60 of Todd Cleaver starting on his outside. Christy Passmore starts third with Ken Weaver to her outside. Then rounding out the top five is the seven of Kyle Kristoloff with the 27 of the 21 of Todd Bosher starting to his outside behind him. So this will be pretty interesting. Uh, got a lot of new faces up in the top five here today. Um, let's go ahead and get things rolling here as we come through three and four. The pace car at any second will make that hard left turn on the pit road. There it goes. And now here we come. Down the front straightaway. The 23, Jason Jarrett leading us to the green for the first time. And there he goes. Green flag in the air. We're racing at Gateway International Raceway. Through one and two for the first time. Everything seems to be going pretty smoothly here. Now down the back stretch. Start fanning out just a little bit, but everything still seems to be going smooth. Stacking up a little bit coming off of turn four, but that's way up here. We've got a little bit of space before they get there, so looks like they'll be all right. Never mind. There goes Val Wolf around into the outside wall, collecting Justin Allgaier in the 86, and that's going to bring out the caution. Right as I said, they would be all right, too. Yeah, hate to see it. She just got turned by Billy Venturini there. Got straight up dumped, but racing back to the stripe. Jason Jarrett is your leader at the caution flag. Let's take a look now at what happened to the 97. And we saw it there. The 25 of Billy Venturini just ran right into her. And what even was that? Oh my gosh. Just turned right, entering a left hand corner. I'm not sure what was trying to achieve maybe getting back in line behind her I don't know but he slid up and just wiped her out and then poor Justin Allgaier an innocent bystander in that had nowhere to go and just went right into it that's a tough break I'm not sure what Billy Venturini was doing but that's uh, what resulted from it so caution is out we're gonna be right back after this Welcome back to the Stock Car Pro Series here on Speed. We are getting ready to go green once again. Jason Jarrett, your leader. Ken Weaver has worked his way up in the second, looking to take the lead. He was about to take the lead. He was racing for the lead um, on the race back to the caution, so looks like he might take it pretty soon. But as of right now, Jason Jarrett still your leader. Green flag is about to fly, and there it is. stretch on this restart contact being made further back the 17 of AJ Henriksen got sent down the racetrack a little bit but he keeps it straight heading through three and four Jason Jarrett's gonna lead another lap 
Jarrett did make a few starts in the MG Cup Series. Came pretty close to winning a couple of times. Dale Jarrett took one win. His father, Dale Jarrett, took one win away. And at Charlotte, or at Lowe's, it was Ryan Newman that took the win away from him there. So. He has come pretty close to winning a couple of times in the MG Cup Series, but just wasn't able to. So now he's here, looking to change that. In the Pro Series, trying to get that win, but looks like that's going to be taken away once again, because here comes Ken Weaver. Just flies by underneath him in that number 20 Pontiac and takes the lead away with ease. Further back, look at Frank Kimmel in the 46 underneath the 12 of Mario Gosselin. Kimmel backs out a little bit, trying to get that run going. Nope, just can't. spreading them out just a little bit so we're gonna take a quick break we'll be right back after this welcome back to gateway Ken Weaver is your leader your pole sitter Jason Jarrett is falling all the way back to fourth as Kyle Krisloff and Kevin Hamlin have climbed their way up in the second and third so hmm. anyways I'm not even sure what to say <laughs> about any of this, but here comes the two. JJ Yaley checks up. Checked up big time there. Coming out of turn four, but feels starting to spread out big time here. All cars still on track. Val Wolf got wiped out by the 25 of Billy Venturini on the on the second lap. Trying to Fight her way back up through the pack with damage. And that's not been easy for her so far. Stuck behind the 37 of Zach Chapel. Gonna try to pull to the inside, heading down the back straightaway, but doesn't really have the space. Alright, you know we're gonna you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna I feel like Kevin Hamlin is going to have a chance to get there. And right as I say that, he's there. So I just decided to fast forward to it. And uh, we can go ahead and see this battle that's about to take place for the lead. Kevin Hamlin has run down the 20 of Ken Weaver. Trying to take the lead away here. Hamlin with eight wins already. Just pushes him up the racetrack. They both go into the outside wall. Strange move there. Not even sure if he was trying to do that, but that's what ended up happening. He's going to check up on the inside, let the 20 have it back. Heading down the front stretch once again. I think they just kind of misjudged each other there. The 99 falls back as they went right into the outside wall. He just lifted and let him take the spot back. Looks like a sign of respect there, saying, I don't want to win it like that. It's gonna, the 20 is going to leave the door open for him here. He's going to try to pinch him down off of turn four. And it worked. Hamlin had to check up. Now Ken Weaver. He's doing everything he can to try to get that first win. We have 15 laps to go from Gateway in. Got a pretty good battle brewing here, or not, not even brewing, taking place for the lead. And Ken, uh, Kevin Hamlin back to the inside, side by side through three and four. Who is going to get the edge? So come out of turn four. When Weaver was able to punch him down once again, he's going to lead another lap. Kevin Hamlin is still there. He's still to the inside. He's going to try to... Oh, that's pretty close, but... 
still not able to get there. Kevin uh, Ken Weaver holding him off pretty well up on the high side. That's something that a lot of people just aren't able to say. Kevin Hamlin is usually just fast. In that 99 car driving for Ken Schrader's team. Jarrett Johnson has worked his way up into third place. As Kyle Krisiloff tries to work his way past Zach Chappell in the 37. That's a lap, a lap car. And the 5 checked up off of turn 2 there. Looks like he got out, got out of the corner a little too hot. Had to check up to avoid hitting the outside wall. And that allows Krisiloff to get back to the inside. As... Caution is out. Skid marks on the racetrack, and I believe it has something to do with. No. I'm not sure what brought out the yellow here, but we're going to have a restart, apparently. Because somebody found the outside wall, and here it is. We found the culprit. Chad McCumbie in the 11. And, oh my gosh. Billy Venturini dumped another one, dude. Sent the 11 of McCombie up into the outside wall. Poor Chad. Just an innocent man. He's running over people here today. I'm not sure what has gotten into Billy Venturini, but it's 38th place. Laps down after serving his penalty for dumping the, th the 79, and he just ran over the 11. A lead lap car. I'm not sure what he's doing out here, but. Man, they, they might earn himself a, a probation at the least. I'll be surprised if he doesn't get suspended. But it looks like it might just be a probation because this is a lower division. We're a lot more lenient with the rules here because these are less developed drivers or just drivers that haven't been able to afford moving up. So... I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, Kevin Hamlin pitting for some reason. Gonna start way back here, so that pretty much hands it to Ken Weaver. Alright. GG's Ken. Nice job getting your first career win. Uh, green flag back in the air. Garrett Johnson actually didn't let that 20 get too far ahead. Ken Weaver with heavy right side damage after they went into the outside wall there couple of laps ago but it doesn't seem to be hurting him this isn't a really high speed track anyway so oh my gosh the lag spikes anyways I don't know why the frames keep dropping here 10, the 20th Ken Weaver out in front Kyle Krisiloff falls back 88 of Stephen Wallace is a lap car, but he seems to have some speed in that car. My goodness, he drove right up to the back bumper of that five. Didn't touch him though. Cause my Wi-Fi just sucks right now. That's, I believe that's the main cause of the frames dropping keeps automatically connecting and disconnecting so I'm just gonna disconnect it hopefully it fixes the issue of frame rate but we'll have to uh, wait to find out Jarrett Johnson though in second place looking for his career best finish here in the Pro Series Steven Wallace driving pretty hard trying to work his way back oh my goodness look at what's going on back here know what they're gonna make it out of here alive too I'm surprised Wow all right then
Stephen Wallace trying to unlap himself gets underneath the 20 of Ken Weaver. Ken, I don't think he realizes that's a lap car. As the caution is out once again, that's going to end it. Under caution, I believe Chad McCombie found the wall once again here. No, it wasn't him. Alright, what? Who done it? Was already out. Okay, let me go back a little bit further then. Oh my goodness! Ed Kennedy up into the outside wall on his side, and it was Chad McCombie that was involved, or one of the cars involved. He just wasn't the main cause. Ed Kennedy up on two wheels. And he just got himself in a bad position there. He was trying to make a move on the 64 of Josh Allison. They were all stacking up heading into turn one. Chad McCombie couldn't slow down in time and they slide up the racetrack and then Mike Garrity nowhere to go as the 11 comes up and then that sandwiches the double zero into the outside wall and he comes down lands on top of the safer barrier and slides along there wild ride for the double zero of Ed Kennedy but he's gonna drive it away man what a way to end this ra what was that I heard a loud bang. What was that? Was it y'all? Oh, suddenly it's not gonna play again? Alright. But, uh, Ken Weaver is gonna win under caution here. First career win, finally, for Ken Weaver here. If he can just keep it, keep it rolling this last lap, and I don't believe he's gonna have any sort of issue, so here he comes down the front straightaway checkered flag in the air Ken Weaver gets his first career win from Gateway Ken Weaver, Weaver has run pretty strong here in the series before unfortunately hasn't been able to get that win up until now first career win for Ken Weaver and uh, yeah that's gonna do it hope you all enjoyed if you did hit the like button subscribe hope to see you guys next time and until then Peace.